right, so this next reaction is what's called elephant toothpaste. Right now, I just have a little bit of regular old tap water in my 500 milliliter graduated cylinder. I'm going to add just a bit of soap to it, kind of get that mixing around. And this is the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. And that is a process that occurs naturally, but it occurs really, really slowly. So we're going to kick it up a notch by adding in a little bit of potassium iodide as a catalyst. Potassium iodide is a great catalyst for this particular reaction. And just because I like to make things pretty, let's add a little bit of food coloring to it. I'm in the mood for some purple. So our elephant's going to have some purple toothpaste. So I'm just going to mix all that together. And then all I have to add is the hydrogen peroxide. This is 30% hydrogen peroxide. Uh, not the stuff that you can get in the grocery stores. This is significantly more potent. And you just pour that in. And give it a second and then the reaction will just go. Your face starts to grow. And it'll grow right out the top. Then of course anytime that we're producing a gas it's always fun to test to see what that gas is. And since I know that hydrogen peroxide decomposes into, and you can kind of maybe see some of the steam coming off, because this is a pretty exothermic reaction as well. Uh, when hydrogen peroxide decomposes, you get water as one of the products, and then oxygen gas. So let me tell this gets a little better. I'm going to take this splint, I'm going to let it burn for a little bit, and I'm going to blow it out. And then put it back in there. And only let it lit right back up. And I can do this over and over again. And the reason that this works is because this is an oxygen-rich environment. And so any oxygen-rich environment, uh, you're going to be able to take a glowing splint and turn it into a, uh, now it's not going to work on me, a burning splint, which is fine. Now I kind of got some of it wet. I touched some of the water that was down in there. You can do this. You can kind of see it glowing down in there. Woo! And like I said, this is a pretty toasty little reaction. Gives off quite a bit of energy as heat. Most decompositions do. Once you get the decomposition going, the energy that was contained in the bonds of the molecule to start with, that energy gets released when the bonds are broken, and the energy usually gets released as heat, sometimes as light, but, you know, so there you go.